But first, at this hour, details on a story that could break at any minute. Ohio lawmakers are still arguing over House Bill 6. That's the bill that adds a fee to our electric bills beginning in just a couple of weeks. HB 6 is the $1 billion nuclear plant bailout that we learned back in July was linked to Ohio's largest bribery scheme ever, involving former House leader Lancey Larry Householder and First Energy. The debate continues in Columbus tonight. 3 News investigator Rachel Polanski brings us the latest. It really is just House Bill 6 repackaged into another bill. That's the view of Republican state rep Mark Romanchuk on today's efforts to clean up HB 6, Ohio's controversial bailout of its two nuclear power plants. Earlier this year, the FBI announced House Bill 6 became law through an alleged web of $60 million in dark money. And at the forefront is former GOP House leader Larry Householder. They improved it slightly, but they really should have completely repealed all those bad provisions, and, and they didn't do that. Today was the last day for state leaders to act before their terms expire, and lawmakers had three options. One, repeal it. Two, do nothing, which meant customers would have to start paying an extra few dollars a month beginning in 2020, or three, delay implementation for one year. By taking that route, lawmakers would essentially be kicking the issue to the next session while leaving some parts of HB 6 intact. It's actually worse than the original House Bill 6 because 798 basically does the same thing as House Bill 6, uh, except it's got all the scandals staring us right in the face. And consumer advocacy groups agree, still questioning the billion-dollar bailout in light of the $60 million in dark money used to pass House Bill 6 in the first place. I think most of us would have expected that they would just repeal House Bill 6. It's so connected to the householder scandal, and there's no reason not to stop, you know, this bill that's so connected to corruption today. And in order to get around that usual 90-day wait that it takes for a law to take effect, lawmakers tuck the delay bill into another bill, and that is what they've been meeting on and arguing about all day, Russ. As we've said, Rachel, this is now down to the wire, so give us an idea of what happens next. You know, it's tough to say. They are still meeting now, um, and they will continue into the late evening. I did talk with a source inside, and he tells me, quote, it's lame duck, nobody can predict, adding that this could continue until tomorrow, Russ. Okay. Rachel Polanski, thank you.